Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'm Kirti Sophia Panichan and in today's session we'll be learning the poem Tulips by the American poet Sylvia Plath. Sylvia Plath was one of the most dynamic and admired poets of the 20th century. She was born on 27th October 1932. She was an American poet, novelist and short story writer. She is credited with advancing the genre of confessional poetry. She is best known for her two eminent poetry collection, which is The Colossus and Other Poems, which was published in 1960, and Ariel, which was published in 1965. She has written a semi-autobiographical novel named The Bell Jar, which was published after her death in 1963. The collected poems written by Sylvia Plath was published in 1981. This collection of poetry was awarded the Pulitzer Prize in Poetry in 1982. This made Sylvia Plath the fourth person to receive such a big honor after her death. Sylvia Plath married the poet Ted Hughes in 1956. They had two children before they separated in 1962. Plath was a person who was clinically depressed for most of her adult life and was treated multiple times with electroconvulsive therapy, ECT. And at the end, we could see that she commits suicide in 1963. So that's a brief introduction about Sylvia Plath. Now we move on to the poem. Tulips by Sylvia Plath is a personal and confessional poem. It explores the poet's innermost emotion and mental state. Plath wrote this poem after going through an appendectomy at the hospital. The poem was originally named sick room tulips in hospital but later she shortened the name within this piece she taps into themes that are common in her work death and the pureness of death confinement illness sickness everything is reflected in this poem the speaker who is most certainly Sylvia Plath herself, goes back and forth between a tone of peace and concern. She comments on the best moments of her time in the hospital and how they were ruined by the arrival of the tulips. Now she is more frantic and much more bothered than she wanted to be. The poet is reminded of life, her own heart, and the fact that she hasn't quite escaped either yet. So that's a very brief introduction about the poem. So let's move on to the poem. Tulips by Sylvia Plath. The tulips are too excitable. It is winter here. Look! How white everything is, how quiet, how snowed in. I am learning peacefulness, lying by myself quietly. As the light lies on these white walls, this bed, these hands, I am nobody. I have nothing to do with explosions. I have given my name and my day clothes up to the nurses and my history to the anesthetist and my body to surgeons. So this is the first stanza of the poem. Now we'll go line by line. The tulips are too excitable. It is winter here. So in this first line, we could see that the author is telling that the tulips are so excitable. How can tulips be excited? 
when it is with vibrant colors it would excite the mind of the person receiving it or seeing it so the second part of the same line is it is winter here winter season is a season in which there is a lot of snow at the same time majority of the time it's dark dull and gloomy people usually experience a lot of depression during winter season so in this single line itself the writer is trying to give two very unique and opposite uh, feelings that one is exciting and the other one is winter season which is considered to be dull and it is not at all exciting so that is the magic of the writer sylvia plath moving on to the second line look how white everything is how quiet how snowed in so in this line plath is describing about the winter season that's happening at that time everything is so white and ex extremely quiet nobody is running around and all during summer season children play around here and there and there will be a lot of noise giggles and everybody is in a positive spirit but in winter season everything is so quiet everybody is staying indoors and they are not going out or exploring the nature and everything seems white there is no greenery or anything so that is what is being explained in this line. So I guess we'll stop over here and continue in the next class. I hope today's session was fruitful for you all. So see you again in the next session. Bye-bye.